Well, now that you've gotten a little bit of the background of myself, Scott Zimmerman, and my co-author and friend, Christy Lee, we're going to talk now a little bit about the project itself called Courting Corporate Clients. We're going to explain what it is, why it is, and how you may be able to participate with us. Um, Christy, tell me what drew you to this project and give us a little overview, and then I'll fill in some details if you would be so kind. What I love about this project is in working with sales teams and, and from corporate America down to entrepreneurs and their teams, the, the one common thread that I saw is that people always fell down in the follow-up process. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what system they had, they, they just lacked the consistency. And they were struggling with how to actually apply any type of sales expertise in, in their day. And when you told me about this book idea, I just, I love it. So let's talk about why courting corporate clients. What, why is sales and marketing like the dating process? Okay. This has been rolling around my head for a long time. So I'm glad to, to speak about this and finally get this out into the world. So if you think about lead generation and then lead nurturing and then getting someone invited into a sales ready conversation and then whether they get a yes, no or not now having to follow up and follow through. It's quite a bit to help somebody succeed with one lead in one relationship, but imagine being that salesperson, you have to manage dozens, possibly hundreds or more of these types of relationships. It's very daunting and it requires a process. It requires support and it requires systematizing as much as possible, but to do so in a way where every prospect and every client feels like they're the only person on that salesperson's radar. That's the trick. And so the whole metaphor would be like a salesperson is a single man and he's trying to go out and find and marry the woman of his dreams, but has to do it over and over and over again and keep the ones that he's already, quote, married, his customers or his clients happy at the same time. So in our metaphor, the single man, his mom wants grandkids, so she's going to help this guy juggle as many relationships as possible. And so every time the salesperson meets someone new, he has to tell mom, here's her profile. Here's what this person likes. Here's what they don't like. Here's what information I want them to get. Here's what information they should never get. And so marketing now becomes more of a sales support model than a traditional branding or advertising model. And so we, as an outsourced sales enablement service, do this for salespeople. We help them. It's like a three-act play. So we go into their database, we bring all those contacts and put them into specific buckets based on what the salesperson knows about them. And we begin reviving those dormant relationships, bringing them back to life. All that money that was spent over the years getting those leads needs to be used wisely. So we help them with that. And then naturally, uh, anytime they get a new lead, they tell us what they've learned about that person, what products and services they're interested in, their personality type, uh, what information they want them to receive, what types of helpful articles they want us to send on their behalf, how often they want a phone call reminder, and we automate everything for them. And then lastly, this is where you come in, Christy. It's all about after they get a yes and they get the first, uh, their first piece of business, their first order, why don't you talk a little bit about appreciation and retention to keep the customers that we've earned? Yeah, so what I love is the marketplace always shifts and people are shifting to a heart centered type of relationship with their clients. And what we love is being able to send cards that actually mean something to further the relationship. And what I like is, is that the PS line on the card can always be customized to what you're talking about or with. So, so you're client. not talking about a e card, you're talking about a physically printed yeah, green real, card. Yes. Yes, a real paper greeting card that comes in the snail mail because what I love is, you know, with all the, the internet and digitizing all of our relationships on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, et cetera, that's all online and that's all well and good and it has its place. But what's fallen away is receiving actual paper greeting cards in the mail. And so stats say that everything that we receive into our snail mail mailbox 97% is all bills and junk mail and things we really don't get excited over. So when you send your clients an actual paper greeting card, you're the 3% that stands out in their day and that makes an impression. So I love that. And so 
what's nice is is that when you tell us um, our client loves to have this they like to hear about that we can actually customize that PS line on the card so that they know you've been actively listening and that makes all the difference to people well interesting oh. you say that because it also works with emails when the salesperson finds out what that prospect or client is interested in and furthering their career we can automatically find and send articles as if the salesperson took the time to say hi john i know you're passionate about building your business or being a leader a better leader or manager i ran across this article and i wanted you to have it so it really is a Absolutely. combination of you know electronic and traditional print to using high tech to create high touch relationships and i would like to segue and you know like the most common challenges that people are facing today to effectively grow their sales. And I don't need to read these to you, our, our, our visitor, but as you look through these, we would like to give you an offer you can't refuse. If one of these is jumping out at you, it says, yep, I've been thinking about that. Yep, we have that. Oh my gosh, do you have a camera in my office? If one of these is top of mind for you today, Christy and I would like to give you two offers. We think they're both gonna be pretty compelling. One is we would love for you to contact us and I'll, that'll be on the next screen and schedule a half hour with one or both of us and we'll discuss what issue you're having and give you some ideas on how we've successfully solved this for other companies similar to yours. Secondarily, if you like the solution that we uh, propose, and you become our client, we are looking for a handful of actual case studies that you could participate in. And you will not only be in the book, but we'd like to do an interview with you similar to this and get your success story put out in the world. And we will either do it for you anonymously, or if you would prefer, we would love to use your name, your company name, and tell stories about how we've helped your sales team become more successful. So if this is of interest to you, here's how to get a hold of us. And then like I said, if you schedule through me, I can include Christy on our call. And all you have to do is send me an email and in the, just put courting corporate clients in the subject line. I'll look for you to get on my schedule and we can't wait to talk to you. Thank you for your time and attention. And Christy, thank you for helping me today. Thank you.